Welcome back to Fix It Wednesdays. Uh, got an interesting one for you this time. Um, security on your van or if you're into your wild camping and uh, you're looking at uh, parking up places where you feel not so much unsafe but you want to keep your eyes open during the night. For example, if you was to hear a noise outside, how would you go about checking what it is, whether it's just an animal or something blowing past or whether someone's actually eyeing up your van or your gas bottle or whatever it might be. So I was looking at security cameras. It's quite a popular addition to people's vans at the moment. So um, we, we looked at quite a few um, and I have decided to add a system called Blink. Um, there's three cameras in total which I've got. I've already installed one which I'll show you now. That's on the back of the van. Um, and, and that one has been on originally I bought it as a one camera system to try it uh, it's quite a really basic system to set up the cameras aren't permanently live they're not hardwired they have lithium batteries like double A pencil batteries and the lithium now uh, allegedly you can't recharge these batteries um, which is a shame but the plus point is the battery life is uh, up to two years so so it should be pretty good at, uh, I know you can buy replacement batteries from Amazon uh, as well for them now anyway um these these camera units are um straightforward you basically st stick the camera mount to the body of a van wherever you want it uh, you plug in which i'll show you now the blink unit this is the actual control unit that's connected just temporary to the power supply that's connected to my wi-fi router in the van and that's like the that's like the the main unit that's a part which will uh, that's a part there which will uh, look after the, the cameras. The cameras aren't connected to the internet. Um, the cameras connect to that blink unit and then obviously there's that blink unit which connects up to the internet uh, and you have an app and you look at it now. So I will show you footage of some of the cameras in a moment once it's been installed. Um, but I just thought I'd show you, put a quick video out just to show you this system. Nice and basic, you're not drilling holes, um, you're not running fixed cameras everywhere and a fixed monitor. Like I say, this, this system is only uh, like a review you can go on to live you can talk to people on it and, and everything else it is designed for homes now the camera units uh, which i'll show you now as you can see this is one of them which i've uh, got uh, set up ready to go um it is waterproof there's a little plug thing there which uh, the, the, the actual bracket clips on so that goes in uh clips on and uh, on the on the actual mounting and that's it and that's pretty much it but they are waterproof one on the back i've jet washed it and everything and it's been absolutely fine so we're going to fit these cameras now the mounts like i say stuck to the van a couple of days ago the rear mounts already been done uh, as i've already shown you on the video so these two are on the side so it'd be brilliant if we're in in a place and we have someone outside or something we can quickly log into the system and have a look around the van uh, they do come with night vision the quality is not brilliant um, but obviously it's down to saving battery life like i say these batteries are um the double a batteries but lithium batteries um and they last up to two years if you've got it on all the time and you're looking all the time they're not going to last six months probably but it's there just to fall back on should you need to so let's go outside let's put these uh, let's clip these units up and set them up and i'll show you what it looks like now get the ladders right up we go it's quite windy today so as you can see i stuck this one on a couple of days ago <laughs> roof of the van these are good clean it's absolutely minging that's uh... so that's the mount and that's all it is and it's rigid as hell that now so that's absolutely fine so all i need to do now is get my uh, get my camera and clip it to it as you can see it clips on like that. I'm going to have to put the camera down while I clip it on. Now, I can't remember if this one needs the... Uh, might need the bracket on this one. I can't remember. Put that camera there. I've got both in my pocket at the minute. So, I've got this bracket, but I don't know if that's... Uh, I think that's right actually, so we can get the angle of a tail up the bloody stiff to get on. 
I'm definitely not coming off these buggers. There. There. There we go. So what I'll probably do, once I've set the angle of the camera up, once I've set the angle of it up, I'm going to put over these joints here some more uh, adhesive sticker flex just to waterproof it and make sure it's nice and rigid. But that should, that should there now be pretty good. So as you can see, that's the first one connected up. Like I say, I'm going to put some adhesive on these points here just so it doesn't move. And there's the camera. <coughs> It's not over in your face or obtrusive, and that's the first one. That's one on the rear which was pre-installed. I put that one on probably a month ago, six weeks ago, something like that. And we'll go up and do the other camera now. This one's slightly different profile on the roof this side, so. Uh, as you can see, I've stuck that one on as well. Okay. There we go. That's a mountain. Like I say, they can be popped off at any time, to be fair, so it's quite good like that. Um, Here's a second camera. I have to have a bit of a mess around with that to get it to the right angle. Oops. There we go, that's the second one. I'm going to put some more adhesive on those joints again just so they don't pop off as a bit of a safety thing. So, that's the second one. Like I say, I'll show you now on the camera the views and see what you think. So that's the cameras installed. I'm, like I say, I'm going to put some adhesive on the joints of the uh, mount so they don't pop off. We don't want to be losing the cameras because they're fairly expensive. I'll put in the description below. Uh, of this video the, the price and the link to Amazon for these cameras like I say that they can be taken off in no time at all uh, I'm going to show you now um, from my phone the, the, the actual platform um, it's actually Blink is an actual Amazon company so you'll buy the cameras from Amazon uh, I would advise you wait until they go on special offer <laughs> they do have offers on these cameras so they're, they're quite a good solution so I'll uh, I'll show you the, the views what we've got now um, so you go into your into your app, uh, Blink. Beauty of it is, is you've got um, settings. You've got away mode and or disarmed and armed, as you can see there now. So I mean, to be fair, if I'm parked in the middle of nowhere, I could probably put it on armed. And if it detects movement, um, you'll you'll get notifications. So if you have anyone coming up to you, you'll get notifications. Now the the thumbnails that's from last week, uh, a week before when we was parked at the NEC in Birmingham, uh, the the top screen. Uh, the other thumbnails haven't uh, populated a a picture as of yet. So let's disarm it for now because I don't want to get pestered to bits with postmen and everyone else. So while we we actual parked at home. So um, the rear one, this is a rear view as you'll see now. You can talk, like I say, you can see my little twizzy at the back there. Um, you can go on full screen, I don't know if that will show or not. So The quality is alright, we do have night vision as well. So, um, after so long, after probably a, a preset amount of time, it'll ask you if you want to continue. Because obviously you're thinking of saving the battery life on the uh, on the, on the cameras, because like I said, the Livian batteries. So, can you see that continue now? If you don't, then it will close down. We'll close that down anyway. The only issue I have found, if you want to look at the others, so I've, I've labelled rear driver's side and passenger side I was going to do right and left but it can get a bit confusing especially if you're in bed at night and you hear a bump or a noise and you're like well which side was it and can I see anything or anyone or, or whatever it might be um, but what I have found is sometimes it's a bit slow to go from one to the other it's saying it's still connected to the other camera so uh, 
that's a view of the driver's side. Um, as you can see, we've got <laughs> neighbours and everything over there. Um, the white bit down the side, that's the side of the van. So it does pick up all right. It's not dead, dead low. The problem is I didn't want these cameras sticking out exposed because you'll get extra weather when you're driving down the motorway. Uh, so that's the driver's side. And then the passenger side. Can you see where it says live view in progress? That's the only issue. Uh, you've got to wait for a few seconds before you switch to the to the next one. But uh, it's not a mega problem if, if I'm honest. So there you go. Passenger side now. So that's the passenger side. I might at some point alter the mountings on them. You can still see the the uh, side of the van the white panel down there so it's not looking right down like i said um the issue is that i don't want um them sticking out too much so that's the that's the cameras it's a it's a blink system it's fully featured um there's loads of settings and everything else and, and playback and god only knows so that's the system um i have had the rear camera on for a few weeks it's been in all sorts of weather we've never had a problem so I really do recommend uh, these cameras. If you're after a quick fix for CCTV, don't forget these cameras can be worked inside your van as well. And beauty of it is because they're not connected to your, your battery. Uh, they run off their own independent battery. The only thing you've got is that blink module is that the batteries can last quite a, you know, a good lot while in the cameras are saying up to two years optimally. Um, but it's not drawing extra from your leisure battery while it's connected over time so the only thing you do need is constant internet in your van um but yeah i do i recommend these cameras i really do for for the ease of fitting it's it's for me it's a no-brain the only issue is there's a black uh so i might pop them off at some point and spray, spray them up i'll make sure these other two are right first so anyway if you do enjoy this video and you think it was helpful or informative do drop us a comment let us know click the thumbs up or the like um and don't forget subscribe we really really do appreciate everyone who subscribes to our channel um we thank you for all the support and we will see you on the next one bye bye